Right now, parents are anxiously awaiting tuberculosis test results after hundreds of students and staff in Cobb County may have been exposed. The exposure happened at Walton High School. So Cobb and Douglas County Public Health officials, they tested everybody who may have come into contact with that bacteria. 11 Eli's Molly Oak talked with a doctor at Children's Health Care of Atlanta to find out what parents need to know. Hundreds of students and staff tested after being possibly exposed to tuberculosis at Walton High School. Because we don't know um, who may have been exposed, what we want to do is err on the side of caution and test everybody who potentially might have been exposed that has been identified by the health department. So what does this mean for your kids? The reassuring um, fact about this is that in most of these situations, it's very rare to identify another individual who has active TB disease as a result of that exposure. That's Dr. Andy Shane with Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. It's, it's transmitted in the airborne route. So somebody coughing and then somebody uh, basically breathing in those uh, those um, droplets, so to speak, that um, that are that are very small, um, that then are uh, inhaled by another person. She says TB typically affects the lungs. So unlike some of the respiratory viruses that are circulating now, like RSV um, and uh, hopefully not, but potentially soon influenza, TB is more sort of a, of a disease that has chronic or longer standing symptoms. Dr. Shane says the most common symptom is a cough that just doesn't seem to go away. Um, usually lasts three weeks or longer and then also some weight loss and fatigue um, are, the, are the most, the sort of the three most common symptoms in, in children. Molly Oak, 11 Alive News. Again, the exposure happened at Walton High School. People who were exposed to the virus have been tested. Students and staff will go back tomorrow for the test results. Everyone with a positive reaction will then have a chest x-ray to rule out any active disease. If a test comes back negative, they'll be offered preventative medicine. If the chest x-ray is positive once again, they will be treated for tuberculosis.